Hey guys and what's up? Today I'm at uh, the Cars track in Bergen and uh, I have a pretty exciting episode of Backer Life. With me here I have uh, a guy called Stian. We're gonna get uh, better known with him but uh, he's a world champion in jet ski. In this episode I'll be testing jet ski and he'll be testing karting. So we're here at the car track. He's gonna test a 125 cubic engine for the first time. Yes, first time ever. A few experiences with uh, rental carts but uh, we're gonna make him shake. <laughs> That's the target. Uh, we're gonna have some fun. He's gonna test our karting, me on jet ski, and uh, I hate to be wet. So uh, let's see how it turns out. He's just gonna go jump in the cart now, have the first go, and we're gonna check your feeling. All right. Sure, <laughs> sure. Okay, so you know, Gas and brake. Yeah. Yeah, that's the two main. <laughs> what is it? Le never lift and uh, kick. <laughs> Judge kick only. <laughs> Judge kick and never lift. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so how do we start this thing? Two switches on and start. When you're ready, press start okay. and, go and go. And when you stop, you press the red one, yeah? Yeah, you yeah. press right. down the red. Yeah. That easy with the, with the race cart, so I'm pretty impressed already. How was it? It was great. Was it good? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Was it hard? Ah, yes. Very yes, hard. Yeah. yeah, nothing like a rental car. <laughs> no, it's not even close. <laughs> so I see your uh, brake pedal that uh, to get the smooth feeling with it is not easy. Eh? I know. Yeah. So close between smooth and way too hard. Yeah. It looked good. I'm, I'm impressed by the first uh, run. Oh. So. <laughs> Two sessions done, how's the feeling? Pretty good, I'm yeah. improving a lot. I uh, felt pretty, pretty fast this time, yeah. for a bit, and then I started screwing up. <laughs> I got a little bit too hot, so uh, any, yeah. Any 360s? Uh, yeah, uh, one 360, a couple of little halfways. Um, should always be one 360 or not, yeah. trying hard now. So um, I'm pretty happy, it's, it's going way faster now. <laughs> How is uh, these cards compared with rental cards? Uh, it's a different sport. Yeah, it it's, is, uh, right? yeah it's, it's a uh, different ball game. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not the same at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you're enjoying? Oh, so much. That's yeah. the main thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, back real life! Yeah! Quick facts about the go-kart. So I drive the 125 cubic shifter cart called the uh, KZ2 and Stian is driving 125 without gear called the uh, Rock. I think it's called Rock. It's a big difference on the carts. Much easier to drive without the shifters. Uh, my plan was for him to test the shifter carts but it is super hard to drive so I'm gonna let him pass for this time, hoping for him to be kind with me tomorrow with giving me good equipment and easy equipment to drive.
So some of the kids here are watching my Backyard Life. Uh, some of them are over here. Is there anything you want to say to Backyard Life? You are not shy, are you? <laughs> no? Are you shy? No. No? <laughs> I didn't think you guys were shy. <laughs> and what about you? Huh? <laughs> so just to have it on my side of the paper, these kids was asking, when can you film us on Backyard Life? Just before I started recording. So, uh... <laughs> I miss the times when I was young and had all the energy in the world. <laughs> Bye! Oh yes, the pit wipers are back. I just want to say it was pretty cool to see Stian today. I think he mastered the karting very, very well. I don't think I will uh, be that fast in a jet ski tomorrow. He says that first time we're out there, he's gonna lap me. Every time I'm doing a lap, he's doing two laps. So uh, it's gonna be very interesting. I've never done anything like it before other than a jet ski, normal or water scooter or what you call it, I'm not sure. The ones you sit on. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I hate water that is freezing cold. I'm never swimming in Norway when it's, uh, or I'm actually never swimming in Norway. I've done it once, maybe a year. Maybe I've been swimming once a year, but never, never like, all the time, it's too cold here. Luckily we're having dry suit on tomorrow, so our wetsuit should be good. Bring on tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> it's a new day, new possibilities, and today we are with the water. We are in Jellesta uh, Jet Ski Club. I'm here with Stian again, and uh, my good friend Andreas Enhög has arrived, and this is no promo. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I brought him, yeah. We are gonna head into the workshop and see the jet skis uh, and uh, you're gonna explain us a little bit what we're gonna do today. You, you asked me to bring extra pair of boxer shorts, socks and shoes. I've done that. I'm gonna hand you the camera. Hello. You are recording. Oh, okay. Alright, so this is the clubhouse. Uh, we have a jet ski garage here with uh, 20 jet skis or so. Uh, all the club members uh, can keep their skis here so it's easier uh, to access the water instead of bringing trailers and all that stuff. Uh, so uh, we have two different kinds of skis here. Uh, most of them are these Yamaha 700cc uh, jet skis that uh, the kids use and for the standard stock class. And then we have the bigger ones on this side uh, for the older riders. The, these are 1500cc Kawasaki's. So these are four, four cylinders? Four cylinder engines, these are two cylinder engines. Which ones do you prefer? I prefer this one, but I raise this one. So the I prefer small the small one. Uh, because but I raise of the it. sound? Or? No, because it's, uh, I think, uh, in my opinion, the big one is too big. Oh, yeah. uh, I like the engine power and everything, but the hole is too big. In so the it's not as world much championship, fun. do you drive with the four cylinders? Or two? Uh, I use this engine, but not the hole. Oh, so okay. I have a smaller, lighter hole mm. uh, that is uh, handmade, mm -hmm. and then I have, but I, but I use this engine. So it's, uh, I practice with the same engine, but different holes. It's tons of uh, scooters here, though. Yeah. <laughs> Stian told me he's practicing almost every day in the water and in Norway it's like winter, a long winter uh, and not too much of a summer, is it? Ah, uh, no. So compare uh, with your uh, competitors, it's not that easy. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, like, you, you really have to do something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never done jet ski or stand-up jet skis. I've only done water scooter. Do you, do you say water scooters and jet skis? Uh, no, it's a jet ski and personal watercraft. Personal watercraft. watercraft. I think that's the... I think that's the term, but uh, in the sport we use runabout. That's the name oh, of the okay. class. Yeah. Runabout is a sit-down class. So they actually have a class for that as well. Yes, yes. Because it's, it's all in the I, same I'm race. so comfortable in those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a steering yeah. wheel, yeah. gas, a brake, or yeah. neutral maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These ones doesn't even have a brake, so no. yeah. only the essential, only throttle. Yeah. That's all you need. <laughs> Weight reduction. Normally, without a year of Corona, how many days are you traveling around? 160 plus, yeah, something like that. You are like me, like traveling. Yeah, yeah. With home, it's also traveling. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's my first summer at home in uh, 10 years. Yeah, so. something like that <laughs> for me as well. It's strange. All right, so let's uh, head to it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna drive this one. Yes, both of these. Both start of these. Out, yeah. Start out yeah. on that one, the small one, uh, to figure things out, uh, figure out the balance, the throttle control, that stuff, and then you'll move on to this one where you so can. So am I heading straight to the track? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. 
And are so, you gonna join me? Yeah, I'll join yeah. you on this one. Yeah, so I just follow you then. Yeah. <laughs> I think yep. that's, that could be the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'm kind of nervous, I must say. Uh, I've seen how they are working with their legs. I, I tried motocross once. I did three laps and I was dead and broken after a few laps. And I think it's the same muscle type you use on jet skis. I, I will see now, but it's a lot of static uh, muscles, right? Very similar, yeah. yeah. So we have the jet skis up there and the jellyfish down there. Another one, another one. I don't like jellyfish. Right. You're gonna be in that boat, yeah? I'm gonna be in that boat. I'm gonna film and drive and pick you guys up when you die in the water. <laughs> Looks like a pro, even though I'm not. <laughs> All right, testing the equipment, important. Googles, looks sick this helmet though. A row helmet, spy glasses, look badass, huh? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Definitely tighter, but still good. That's what she said. <laughs> Okay, so some quick tips before we start. Uh, that's the basics on the controls. Uh, this goes up and down the steering. Uh, when you steer, you move the nozzle back, back here. That sprays a, the water jet. In the first start, uh, when we go off the, the lift here, you'll have an advantage because uh, the lift will stabilize the ski and you, you can start in the tray. So you, you start with the start like sitting. Yeah, just sitting like this. Yeah. Stay a little bit up. Yeah. yeah. You have more balance like yeah. that. And then um, once you fall at some point or stop, you can, because it, that's gonna happen. Yeah? It's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna be very hard, especially in this ski, to start in the tray. Yeah. So you should start laying behind it, like this. Yeah. And then, then get catch some speed, and then put one knee in, and then climb up in the ski. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, make sure the jewels are on the right side of the spray. Yeah, up here and <laughs> down there. So you only do it wrong once. So <laughs> I'm no gonna fail so much. <laughs> where the water comes out. <laughs> that was the first thing I did. <laughs> the jet ski is made for the junior, so he's uh, gonna get the screwdriver and we're gonna take out the plug and go a little bit faster. It's hard to keep the balance on this thing. Ooh. How's the water? The water is pretty nice actually. I should get you in. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs a boat like this if you do jet ski. So that's what he gave me. That was uh, why it wasn't performing at this best. <laughs> this is for junior, so uh, to crank down the power, they uh, put like a uh, restrictor plug plate, whatever. No, it's stand up, which is the next mission. It is cold in the water, but I had a wetsuit. At least I'm not complaining too much. Ha <laughs> ha 
helt eller om du står litt i midten. It's so hard to stand up and do it. I can sit on my knees, that's no problem. But uh, stand up like Stian, impossible. <laughs> but it's so fun and quite hard on the gas uh, lever. Yeah. Because uh, I'm uh, forcing too much. A lot of fun though, these beasts are fast. <laughs> You're doing really good. <laughs> you get respect for it, you know. Water is not to play with all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you try to go fast and you feel like King Kong, and then you do one corner and then you feel like a banana peel. <laughs> So for the audience back home, they're switching jet skis. That means Andreas is going over to a much, much, much faster version. Let's see how this goes. The battery is about to die. I just quickly say that the, the worst thing that happened was that I was switching jet skis and I jumped straight in a jellyfish and I burned both of my legs. So I saw the jellyfish right here and uh, the leads was going over here. You can see I'm a bit red here. It burns, it burns, it burns, it burns. I'm not gonna pee on it. Uh, I'm too big for that. But I have had a ton of fun. I'm not sure how we're gonna end it, but I had tons of fun testing jet ski. And I had a lot of fun testing uh, go-kart for sure. That's a, that's a good episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want to learn more about Stian, I'm going to link him in the description below or on the side, I'm not sure. If you are from Bergen, if you want to start with karting or jet ski, I'm also going to link their clubs uh, below. Other than that, I hope I see you guys back next Wednesday at 5pm. I'm trying my best and hardest <laughs> to deliver every Wednesday, so stay tuned. Until next time, flat out. <laughs>